Hey there, and uh, thanks for joining me in another video of Battlefoot 1943. I see there's still a lot, a lot of people interested in this game. Actually, I did not expect to find a lot of action uh, when I started up this game two years after uh, it's been collecting a lot of dust. Um, I was expecting there not be anybody in there, or maybe a couple people. And I was also expecting major hacking in this game, or in so many other games. Like I guess this uh, game is immune to hacking, or I don't know, people just don't want to hack it. Um, that's really awesome. I cannot believe how alive this game is. I mean, you can go in here at any time, at any given day, and find uh, full uh, teams and lots, lots and lots and lots of action. So it's really cool. Uh, it's, you know, sometimes you end up in a team where people back out when they're pissed off, because like you know, in all the battlefield games, uh, it happens sometimes that one team is extremely powerful, and the other team has uh, doesn't do well, and then it's really you no know, fun because you're stuck on uh, on your spawn, and on this map you're not starting on a ship, you're actually starting on uh, one uh, one end of the island on on your base. And you know, there's a lot of base raping uh, and base camping happening, and then it can get really frustrating. And I understand people backing out, so I would never blame anyone for backing out. But I try to usually stick it out because I've been in a few games lately where you really thought it was hopeless and it turned around. You know, some good players joined and they were able to turn it around. But a lot of times it happens like you're the only good player, you're the only one interested in actually doing something, uh, going for the win, and you're going capture flags like crazy, and the rest of the team sits on in the base and or is like you know in the planes all the time. And if you don't take flags and you lose all the flags, you get stuck on the base. And um, the enemy team is really really good. They end up dominating. Uh, so hard that you can't even get out of the base and, and, and that's when it can get frustrating but I have to say this game just is fun now look at here this guy doesn't even have a clue that we're on his base and that was an easy kill <laughs> so I'm trying to see if I can take some plane down love doing that oh my god what a chance he's right there wow that was awesome uh, thank you so much for flying so low right over me that was an other easy kill uh, this is by the way the map Guadalcanal and uh, like I mentioned before there's really none of those maps are bad I think they're all really 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 fun to, to play on and apparently they're very realistic uh, they are really uh, the islands really exist and, and there was really war on those islands and there's always a little bit of a history at the beginning so you can learn a little bit about what really happened on, that, on those islands and I I bet you those islands were not as beautiful in the real war. Uh, when you play Battlefield 3 and you play, for example, Wake Island, uh, I, I used to just, you know, always be in love with Wake Island in Battlefield 1943, and I, I played it in Battlefield 3, and it was it looked nothing like this Wake Island in, in, in this game, uh, where it's colorful with the palm trees and everything is green and lush, and the water is clear, crystal clear. I bet you in the real war, uh, the water was dirty and uh, everything was uh, damaged, and uh, you know the grass was in green, and, and it was more like warlike and and. So and I'm trying to uh, take their flag here, and uh, I didn't even realize this guy was just like, stealing the tank away from me. I, it's not that I wanted the tank, but basically I shouldn't have let him get into the tank. Because, you know, as the Rifleman, it's really called Rifleman, by the way. I was just naming it that, and I looked, and it was actually it's really called Rifleman in the game. As a Rifleman, you don't really have anything against tanks. You're pretty much hopeless. Oh, look at this guy. He has no clue I'm right here. So I was just hiding from the tank, actually. I was not uh, trying to camp or anything. I was basically <laughs> trying to make sure the tank doesn't see me, because once the tank sees you, you're pretty much dead. Uh, I mean, uh, unless you can outrun them somehow, but I've tried that many, many times, and uh, if somebody is really good with a tank, uh, you can try to outrun them on foot. Pretty much impossible. Uh, you're probably better off having a cheap, um, but even with a cheap, you um, a lot of times, if somebody is good, they can blow you up, blow you to pieces within seconds. So here, the enemy team 
uh, blew up our plane. Um, I think if we have the flag, yes, we do. They try to blow up our plane so we can't use the plane. So yeah, that happens all the time. So anyway, I uh, have done that many times where, you know, I try to prevent, especially if they have a good pilot, you do not want them to have a plane. So here he comes again. Uh, this guy's trying to sneak up on me. No chance. Thank God. Um, trying to hold this flag. And the key is to hold the flags and not just take them because it happens all the time. You know, you take a flag, you run away, go to the next flag and behind you the flag is being taken again. Trying to get this, this guy. Good timing. Yes, good timing. Yeah, it's always the thing you need to kind of like figure out how far away from the enemy you gotta shoot the grenade down. It's always, you know, go a little bit ahead. So it's funny, you know, sometimes you think you can shoot a guy with, you know, one, two bullets and you put like 10 bullets into him and they don't die. And uh, it, it's definitely it comes up to, you know, making headshots. Headshots, uh, definitely one. So here I was like 100, see, this is like weird because I was 100% sure I put at least five, you know, one bullet into his head and uh, the rest of the bullets into his neck area, neck and chest. And it took more than to get him down. It's weird. And then other times you, you're you like, you know, just trying to take somebody down. You're 100% sure you're not getting him. And he's really far away. And it, you shoot like the first shot and the guy drops and it's like, whoa. It's 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 very, very funny how this happens. Uh, but, you know, that keeps this game interesting. Um, but definitely, definitely a pretty island. And really really fun uh, where they put the flag so let's see if I can get this guy that was good timing too yes um, it's it's really you don't have a lot of time to really calculate how far away you should get the grenade but if you do it, it can be this uh, grenade launch can be extremely effective and even though I sometimes you know wish to you know certain situations I'm like oh I wish I had a sniper rifle right now or oh I wish I had something uh, you know, against the tank, it's like most of the time I would say the snap, the, uh, the this rifle um, is kind of like a nice medium because you have something a little bit like a sniper, and with the grenade launcher you have something where at least you can take the um, uh, cheaps down and get a, a nice double kill if you have two people in there. Uh, or, you know, I, I've tried to take tanks out with the uh, grenade launch and I think the only way that would be possible is if the uh, tank is already hurt. So this guy is trying to, as you can see, I got him a few times and he's still not dead and I'm like, ah, I can't get him like that, I just try and I got him. That was another surprise effect. I mean, sometimes you you just it's that's just so funny it's like there's no way i'm gonna get them i just throw grenades anyway you just never know you know and um and the fun thing is like you know when you're on a tank it's you can be you can put, put a lot of uh, damage uh with this as you can see i'm trying to take those people out far away but the problem is you don't forget that you're really sticking out here on top of the tank and you can easily be sniped out so it's space you're not like uh, invincible that you know and in Battlefield 3 you're not sticking out you can basically be on a tank and be totally uh, hidden from enemy fire and here you're actually sitting on top of the tank so when you look you can see a little guy sitting on top of the tank and easily take him out and that's about to happen to me here but we're at the end and I think we're winning anyway so I don't really have anything to lose and here we go. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care until next time. Bye-bye.